All right, let's look at some logs. Look at some review here. So let's just do a couple of each. We'll do this one and this one. <laughs> and I don't know. Let's do, let's just do this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Log means you need to snail it. So we have 6 squared is equal to 4x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by 4. So 36 divided by 4 is 9, which gives us plus 3 and minus 3, which I am allowed to use because when I put in my negative 3 here, it ends up being positive, and yippee, it works. Logs here. The only way to make this look like that is to put the logs together, and when we're condensing, addition really means multiply. And then I need to snail it. So I then want to factor, and I get x minus 4 and x plus 1. So x is equal to 1, and x is equal to negative 4. Well, when I put in a negative 4 in here, it does not work. And ooh, trick question, when I put a 1 in here, oh, that's a negative 1. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I did that all wrong, and I was so excited. I thought I had one that was wrong. All right, no, just kidding. X equals 4, and X equals negative 1. When I put in a negative 1 here, it doesn't work because that's negative, and that's negative. Eh. But when I put a positive 4, it works there, and 4 minus 3 is a 1. It works, so I guess we get to have that one work. All right, let's try this one. So this one, I really need to just get rid of that. So I'm going to divide both sides by a negative, or d multiply both sides by a negative 4. So I get x squared is equal to 4, which then when I square root, I get plus n minus 2. Oh, let's do this one too. And let's do this one. Let's just do them all. All right. For this guy here, the base was 10. So if I snail it, I get 10 to the 0 equals 5x. Well, 10 to the 0 is 1. So x is equal to 1 over 5 when you divide both sides by 5. Let's look at this one. I need to set this equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 1 fourth. And I need to set this equal to 0, which, oh, happy days. I just move that, do it over, square root, square root, plus 1, and minus 1. Always get two answers when you do that.